Yes, students. Uh, today, now uh, we'll uh, understand about the glaciers' work. As you know, glaciers are nothing but moving ice. In polar region and in other parts of the colder regions, like uh, usually we'll find rainfall in our areas in subtropical areas, whereas in colder and polar regions you'll find snowfall instead of rainfall. So this snowfall will be flowing snow and uh, and the huge snow falling, you know, which accumulates and forming the huge pieces of uh, ice bergs, like you no know, ice uh, masses, forming uh, the compact and uh, so. Oh, sometimes it will move and uh, like a river is flowing like you know the what's that snow piece uh, ice piece is moves that is nothing but your glacier so for example the glaciers after you know reaching to the warmer area it will melt so once if it melts then uh, water like a river it will flood uh, you know uh, into the uh, warm areas for example the gango 3 uh, glacier forming in the himalayan areas is forming river ganga a very well known and popular uh, river ganga is formed by the gango 3 glacier once if it is meeting that warmer area it slowly it will melts and once this piece but usually as i told you the before the rivers uh, moves in the valleys v shaped valleys whereas glaciers move u shape this is the difference between the uh, rivers and the glaciers rivers uh, flow in the v shaped valleys whereas uh, glaciers uh, move in u shaped valleys and during this course of movement sometimes it will uh, uh, weather the bedrock and this bedrock is totally you know it's also forming the kind of sand particles and you'll find the pebbles cobbles and sometimes when it reaches to the, some part or some areas where the flow cannot be carried this huge or uh, uh, rugged uh, boulders and forming the tills so tills are nothing but sand debris cobbles and pebbles so this tills once if they uh, form a layer where you can't carry from that area so this uh, kind of uh, tills are called uh, moraines so moraines you are formed uh, again from the part of the glaciers so we see the uh, how the glaciers are moving from one area to the other area usually that uh, will pass through in the colder region to the warmer region that flow of the ice is nothing but glacier so these glaciers are uh, moving uh, very slowly sometimes in a few centimeters to uh, meters but it depends on the force of the gravity so due to gravitational force the ice uh, pieces like glaciers are moving but it the speed depends on again on the the huge mass body and the this acts like this uh, this huge uh, ice mass acts as a abrasive for the bedrock and weathering this uh, process of erosion this uh, uh, process of erosion by the glaciers is nothing but the plucking is called plucking process where where this ice piece is you know uh, taking out the some parts of the bedrock material so that plucking process is the mainly caused by the glaciers